Now, one of the most common questions we get asked is how do you create your new check-in report from your checkout report? So let me just head back to the property screen. So we've got a checkout report we've just created. In the checkout report, I'm just gonna download this now quickly. In the checkout report that we've done, it's only included the items that we've flagged for maintenance or there's some tenancy breaches that have been outlined. So um, the checkout report is pretty, um, not sparse is the word, it's a lot shorter compared to a normal check-in. So let me just show this very quickly. So on the checkout report, it's only showing a handful of items that we've raised for issues. But when you create your new checkout report, so I've got a new tenant here that's due to move in. When you copy it over, it will still copy everything over. So I'm going to show you how that looks now. So I've got a new tenant due to move in. I'm going to do a new check-in report. And I'm going to copy the contents from my checkout report here. You can also duplicate the photos if you wish. So when I click there, I'll click Save and Next. My new check-in report is being generated. So I'm gonna click Preview Report now. So this is what the report looks like as it stands. And as you can see, it's copied everything over. Not necessarily the items that we've just flagged on the checkout report, but every single room and item has the descriptions added in. So um, we've got the keys just here. We've got the utility readings that have been copied over from the checkout report. And we've got the photos of the issues that were raised. And you can see here, every item has its common um, description added in as well. So this helps you save time creating your new check-in report when copying the contents over from your checkout. So it saves you a lot of time and it speeds up your reporting process. So all you have to do now is when you continue report, so when you click rooms and spaces, you just work your way through the report like normal, but it speeds up your reporting time because all you have to do is you make your minor tweaks and changes compared to your checkout. So it's really simple to do and it saves you a lot of time. So that